Do 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 Hi, welcome to Vitamin Junkies. I'm Jennifer Lyle. Uh, I'm Dr. Jen Jen. And we're addicted to good health. We are addicted to good health. Just yes. in case you're wondering who you're watching, I am the mother of two boys and I've had a personal interest in health and wellness for the last six years. I'm Dr. JJ. I'm a naturopathic doctor. I'm a researcher and I'm a public speaker. Now, it is time to da, da, da. look at what you're going to be taking today. This is a little different. Usually you're okay. popping pills. Yes. Well, the topic of our show today is IV therapy. And uh, to demonstrate IV therapy, Jen has volunteered her veins, which is very kind. And since Jen is volunteering her veins, I thought I would volunteer my arm for a B12 shot. Ah. Um, I have a lot of patients that take B12 shots. Normally they're vegetarians, people with thyroid problems, or people with a lot of chronic fatigue. Um, so we give them B12 shots. So this is a B12 shot right here. I've already filled it. So as you just saw me do, I took a little swab of alcohol, clean the area, and then I will inject into my muscle. And I will hopefully not cringe as I do it. So, ta -da! Ta -da 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 -da. so normally what you would do is you'd have someone else do this on you, but since I'm licensed to do this, I'm able to do it on myself, and that's it. So you mentioned that it's Done. good for fatigue. So would that be like a adrenal issues or mm, maybe more for people that are deficient in B12? Uh, not so much adrenal issues. It's more thyroid or people who are typically vegetarian. Women vegetarians, I find, tend to be really deficient in B12. Uh, what I do in patients, though, is I train them to inject into their legs. Uh, because I'm wearing pants, it's a bit awkward for me to throw off the pants and start injecting, so I demonstrate it in the arms. So, as you can see, there's barely even a little thing thingamajig there. But I'm pretty tall, so I could reach around and do it. I right. know what to do, but for patients, we have them inject in the legs. Very good. Yes. So I'll on... try that at home, unless I supervise. Very yes. good. On to IV therapy. Mm-hmm. IV therapy. What is IV therapy? Okay. IV therapy is one of the strongest modalities I could do in clinical practice because what I do is that I inject in vitamins and supplements, amino acids, whatever, directly into your body, directly into your veins. Wow. So if I get access through a vein, then I have access um, of putting nutrients in, into your entire body. So I don't need to worry about digestion or anything like that. So you get a really strong effect and people will heal faster, people feel an effect usually right away. So who should try IV therapy? Uh, people that have digestive problems, people that have absorption problems. Um, I see a fair number of cancer patients will come in, because obviously cancer is a very uh, taxing condition, so people will come in for, for nutrient supplementation. I have people come in for insomnia. I have people come in for, uh, for stress or burnout, and then we put them on IVs, and then it really helps them bounce back. People come in when they're sick, they have a cold or the flu, and they feel depleted. We give them an IV, and we load them up with vitamins and minerals, and they feel a lot better after. Oh, yeah. Is yeah. it just it's like a, a one, magic bullet? Yeah. one shot deal, or is it a continuous therapy? I guess it depends on the depends. issue. Yeah, it depends on the issue. Like cancer, obviously, it's continual. Uh, but if it's a cold, you usually give them one IV, and the next day they feel a lot better, or you, or you give them an IV or two, and then they feel a lot better. Yeah. Wow. Depends on the case. And how long does it last? Like, how long would you be there? Uh, IV. The IVs are usually about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. Yeah, they're relatively painless. They're not that painful. We'll be trying it on you, so you'll know soon enough. Ooh. Ooh, let's get to it then. Okay, let's do it. So, uh, before we start, I am going to fill an IV, and um, I will talk you through all the wonderful things we're going to put in this IV. Uh, before you do an IV, you glove up. Now, we talked about some of the things that I'm working on Correct. to select what we're going to put into this IV for me. Yes. So uh, So Jen had some uh, some energy issues, so I'm putting in some vitamin C. So as you see me injecting in this stuff here, I'm going to put in some vitamin C. Uh, da, 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 there we go. Perfect. Uh, we're putting in some B-complex. You can tell it's a nice little yellow color here. That's a big complex, so we'll give her some of that. Do, do, do. Give so that's why your pee turns yellow when you've taken, I've taken my multivitamin? Yep, that's riboflavin. That's uh, B2. The red stuff you see me injecting right here is uh, B12. Uh, similar stuff I just inject into my arm. This stuff's different because we give it intravenously. This is B6. This one's clear. Not as fancy-pantsy to look at, unfortunately. Uh, then we've got... 
This one's B5, and dexpanthenol. And there we go. And uh, Janice mentioned that she's magnesium deficient, so we'll give her a wee bit of magnesium. And whenever you give magnesium, you want to balance out calcium, so we give her some calcium also. Ta-da! And now, uh, because this is pretty concentrated, this little needle, I'm going to fill it with some sterile water just to uh, dilute it so that it matches uh, the concentration that we need to deliver it into her blood. And um, so I struggle to get it into the bag. There we go. Bingo. Okay, so we are now ready for the injection. Um, for Madame, we'll be doing a vitamin push. You could also do a vitamin drip where we put um, the vitamin solution in a bag, uh, that's for higher concentrations, and also they run over a longer period of time. In her case, since we're doing it for the show, and also for health benefit, we could probably push this in about 10-15 minutes, so that's not a problem. So we put less of it in this tiny little needle. Yes, this is a tiny little needle, believe it or not. Okie dokes, uh, we put on the tourniquet, the tourniquet. We tighten, tighten, tighten to get her vein to bulge out, and then we grab a little butterfly, okay, make a fist, straighten your arm please, <gasps> look at that, look at that great little vein, and then we turn it around, put the little butterfly in, and then, whoop, red, ta-da, that's it, now you see a little bit of blood coming out, that means we're in the vein, and we just push it in, that's it, how do you feel? Fine, I mean... Yeah, do you feel anything? Do you taste any B vitamin? Does it feel cold? Does I it sound feel, like cold yeah, I, can, I feel that there's something going in there, okay. but I don't really feel anything. Yeah. So usually yeah. what people report is that they say it... Cold. Uh, yeah, it yeah, feels cold. Yeah, it feels cold. Some people taste the B vitamin taste, you know, the taste you get I, from a multivitamin? Yes, now I can taste it. Yeah, you taste it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's about it. Usually it doesn't hurt. So we usually check your heart rate as we do this to make sure everything's fine and we check your blood pressure. Other than that, these are pretty well tolerated treatments. And so you have to sit there and gradually push it for 15 minutes? Yep. Thank you, my dear, for lending me your vein. You have a nice little uh, colorful band-aid right there. Thank and you. Uh, once again, another successful treatment. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, thank you to our listeners. Please go to vitaminjunkies.com and join the addiction. Join Vitamin Junkies Anonymous. I'm Jennifer Lyle. I'm Dr. JJ. And continue the addiction to good health. Continue the addiction to good health. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do.